hello everyone welcome back to my channel if you're a first time viewer you're highly welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for always coming back thank you for your likes thank you for your comments thank you for your engagement i truly appreciate you all so today i'll be dropping a tutorial video yes i'll be dropping a tutorial video um i'm going to be teaching you something very important so i hope you guys stay tuned and watch this to the end trust me you're going to learn a lot i actually charge to teach people this but today i'm going to be giving it out for free yes for free you heard right so just join me as you know we go through this tutorial till the end and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel kindly click the red subscribe button and subscribe and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to drop your comments in the comment section yes without further ado let's go right into the training so now i'll be showing you how to you know convert your pictures or any picture you have into you know comic you know if you see some people there are some people you see that know how to create you know comic magazines and all that and you can actually even use this to you know create um adverts for your businesses and all you know there are some kind of um designs that get the attention of people easily so um you go to your play store and download the comic app if you don't already have it this is what it looks like i'll just click on it to open it now once you open it you see these three options gallery camera and multi the gallery is to pick you know a picture that is already existing in your gallery your photo gallery and the camera is for you to take a picture on the spot the multi is when you want to select more than one picture so for the purpose of this trading i'll just go to gallery and pick a picture um let's say let me pick this even though the background is just plain yes so once you pick your picture if you look down below the picture you see different types of comic you can easily change your pictures to you have a cartoon you have comic you have flow stamp lucid pen marker and the rest of it all then if you look at the left hand side you see some three um lines and buttons those are you know to adjust your picture when you pick them like let's say for example i pick cartoon now you can see the picture has been changed to you know something that somewhat looks like a cartoon so once you click those three buttons you can adjust the settings you can adjust the settings to what or how exactly you want you know the picture to look you can see it. i think this is um contrast this is brightness this is this should be hue and the rest so once you are satisfied with you know what you are creating you click the um, the mark button by the side and save it yes so this is what um the comic looks like go to the setting and adjust you know what make just make some changes the changes you think are necessary don't forget to click the mark button and save then once you save now you have the option of adding a text you have the option of cropping the picture if you you know it has some edges that are not tidy or you want to make it smaller then you have options of adding a sticker now let me um go to the text option once you click on the text option it gives you different bubbles you know these are bubbles where it's either you are making a speech or the second one looks like you know when somebody is trying to think or thinking and and the last one looks like you know i don't know like exclamations or something so if i'm to use this one if you click on it it gives you an option where you can input your text so i'll say um hello my name is Juliet and I am your tutor for today. Remember, but if you look at the left hand side, you see um caps 
caps um caps and lower caps that's upper caps and lower caps once you click on it it gives you option where you can choose the type of font that appears with your writing yes so whatever font you choose here is what will show with what you wrote down yes so once you choose your font you just click the mark button to save it now if you look at the picture again you can see that what i typed has appeared you know on my screen so i'll just click the mark button now i'll have to adjust it you know to what where i want it to be if i want it to be down below here if i want it to be in the middle now if you look at this same writing it has two buttons on it the x button and this other round button if you click the x button it means you want to delete whatever it is you wrote then if you click this other button you want to adjust the size of your of your bubble so if i do it like this i'm adjusting i'm making it smaller if i do it like this i'm expanding it now let's go back to I don't want to apply it so I can show you some other thing. Now, if you look at the down part again, you will see something that looks like a pencil. If you click on it here, you can actually use your hand to write. So you pick the particular color you feel like you want to write with, let's say pink. Then I can, let me just try to sign my signature. You can see that I can use my hand to write on the picture. And if you feel like you made a mistake with whatever it is you wrote, there's an eraser by the right hand side. You click on it and you can easily erase what you wrote down. And once you're through with what you're doing, you click apply and it just goes in permanently. Then for the cropping, you can, you can see, like I explained to you before, this is just if you want to crop the picture, you use that option once you just adjust it to what you want i'm using a custom setting now i'm not using um the ones that are that are listed here so once you just crop the picture to the length or size you want it you click apply and it stays then for the sticker once you click on it it gives you different kind of stickers you can use yes these are colored stickers there are a lot a whole lot of them you can use for whatever um reason you want to use it for and we have it in also in black and white so let's say um i want to say um hey yes so once you click on it as usual you can expand and you can reduce whatever rocks your boots so once you're true remember that once you're true what you're doing just click apply and it becomes permanent yes so that is um all for the four options below then once you're through with saving it you see the button that looks like um three three what i call it i don't know it looks like a triangle an open triangle or something that button is the share button now once you click on the share button it takes you to so many platforms where you can share your work maybe whatsapp or telegram or email you know and those kind of things now i wouldn't want to be sharing so let me just go back oh that's come up so i'll just go back now to show you the other forms of you know other forms of comic will have so this is um flow this is what flow looks like it's like something like a water colored like a water painted you know comic and this is um stamp this is um lucid and this is pen like you know a drawing that was made with a biro or a pencil and this is marker and this this is glam and this then this is a sketch you know something you know what a sketch is now something that was drawn with the pencil and this is beautiful i like it like this i really love this <sighs> yes so um then um what i just clicked on now let me go back so you can see it you see this um like a a smiley face in the middle once you click on it it gives you different funny you know um faces you can switch your face let me just show you what it looks like um can you see <laughs> this is so funny um 
just be looking at the pictures and see how it changes can you see it just changes them to you know very funny um faces yes and you can also use that button at the left hand side to adjust to whatever it is you want so i'm not adjusting anything i don't want any of this i'll just I'll just go back yes so that's just all for comic it's it's that easy it's nothing difficult at all thank you for watching and thank you for staying till the end if you have any questions please drop your questions in the comment section and i would answer to them all yes and if you're yet to subscribe kindly click the red subscribe button down below and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you get notified anytime i upload a new video bye